Good morning and welcome to a day in our life. I am a stay-at-home mom of four. I have a set of twins that are a year. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what a normal day looks like for us. It is my mother-in-law's birthday, so the kids will be doing a little bit of art projects for her, a little gift for her, and I will be finishing up her cake, which will not be a vegan cake, so I'm not going to be doing like a recipe for this, but I will at least show you part of that process. And of course, we have to eat during all this, which is the majority of what my channel is about, is healthy plant-based recipes. So stay tuned and come along with us for our day. I can see that you're comely. Well, tell me who's that boy over there? No, making eyes, making me stare. Well, well, I don't know your name, but can I call you? Mona Lisa, I cannot put your picture on my wall. I just wanna know, can I? I didn't give any exact measurements for this recipe because I think everybody has like a basic oatmeal recipe that they follow, which is totally fine. I think the only thing that's really creative and new to this recipe is maybe caramelizing your peaches first, as well as blending up peaches and adding them to it. Um, and then also make sure you add a little pinch of salt. This really will put it over the edge. Another thing that I really love to do to my oatmeal that adds a really creamy depth of flavor and some extra protein is I will make a protein frosting, with, which is just essentially a scoop of protein thinned out with whatever kind of milk you like using. I used almond milk for this recipe and you just dollop this right on top of your oatmeal. It adds a good bit of protein and it really just makes this taste like a dessert. Another thing that would have been great on this would be maybe some toasted coconut flakes or something crunchy. So maybe some like fresh pecans or like roasted pecans, something like that. I finished off this oatmeal by adding a little bit of ground flaxseed. This is a great breakfast for maybe post-workout or for feeding kids or if you just have a bunch of fruit that are in season and cheap to buy this is a great option so give it a try What's that? oh well can i call you sometime soon girl i just want to know if that's all right know that i might see my if you cannot tell we are potty training so hopefully that doesn't ruin my recording today because I'm going to have to be really careful about how I film because my kids are walking, not all my kids, the twins are walking around naked. I feel like this is the most effective way to potty training is just letting them be naked. I did not want to potty train them right now. Like 100% in my mind, I was like, I'm going to wait till they're closer to three to where it's just like hopefully something where they just pick it up and I'm not having to do a lot of work. They won't keep their clothes on. They decided that it is time for them to be potty trained. Even their onesies, like I was trying, I was, they kept taking their clothes off and so I was like, okay, I'll just put them in onesies and they won't be able to take it off. Well, then they started unbuttoning their onesies and taking it off. So it's either go with it or fight keeping diapers on them. So we're going with it. Oh, hold on, let me clean out the potty. Hold on. Anyway, so we are potty training during all this process, so I'm gonna try to make sure I don't have any like little naked butts in the, in all these videos. <laughs> Sit down. Let me just. I wish I could show you them, but I can't because they're naked. What are you working on? What's it for? Picture. <laughs> If you guys have been following me at all, you know one of my tricks to getting anything done during the day is time management. 
And for me, in the evenings, cooking just does not work because everybody's fussy, whatever. I have a ton of garden tomatoes and cucumbers, so I'm gonna make, did you pee pee? Yay, you pee peed! Hold on. Yay, yay, Rosie, pee pee girl! Anyway, I had some leftover already cooked lentils in the fridge, and I, my inspiration, what I do is I usually just go through Pinterest, and I just start looking, scrolling and looking at pictures. I am like very much about like visual appealing when I go to eat, so most of the time I'm not following recipes, but I'll like, my inspiration source is just looking at pictures. So there was three things that actually really stood out to me. I'm going to make like a turmeric tahini dressing. I'm going to make this Lebanese style lentil salad. And then I'm also gonna make a tomato, cucumber, and avocado salad. Because my lentils were already cooked, the only thing that I really had to do for prep was chopping up some vegetables and making this dressing for our Lebanese style salad. This is going to be a warm salad dressing and the key to this part is just getting the garlic lightly golden brown. The only other seasonings in this salad are cumin. So once my garlic is nice and roasted up, we're just going to add cumin straight into this olive oil mixture. And then at that point, we're going to add some lemon juice and some fresh mint and just toss it into our cooked lentils. And that is the full recipe. wondering right now why the heck is she scraping the seeds out of these cucumbers well I am taking the seeds out of the cucumbers because I am making a cucumber and tomato salad and it's I'm actually hoping to serve it for dinner and if I was to just cut this cucumber up most of the liquid remains in the seeds of both the cucumber and the tomato so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out that way my salad does not turn into a tomato and cucumber soup and I'm just gonna actually put them right on top of the salad that I'm gonna be having for brunch. That way I'm not wasting, and that way my salad will be nice and fresh and crunchy. So once I have removed the seeds from the cucumbers and the tomatoes, I'm just gonna go ahead and cube them up into about bite-sized pieces, and I will add in some fresh basil. I totally forgot to film myself adding in the cubes of avocado, because I actually do that at the very end as well, so that they do not turn brown. But just imagine that I finished the salad, cubing up the tomatoes, cubing up the cucumbers, slicing and putting in some fresh basil, and cubed in some avocado, and drizzle a little bit of lemon juice, salt, and pepper whenever you're ready to serve. If you do not try anything else from my recipes today, please try this turmeric Dressing. This has to be one of the most simple, most delicious, 
oil-free, high-protein salad dressings that I've ever made, and it's so easy and quick to make. So I started off by adding a scoop of hummus. I just used a garlic hummus from Aldi, and then a scoop of tahini paste. Then we're going to go ahead and season it up after that. So I seasoned it with some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, some turmeric. Turmeric is Again, an awesome anti-inflammatory. I'm sure you've heard me say that. Just look up the benefits to turmeric. You're, you would be really impressed. Then some curry powder. I love this brand by Simply Organic. Again, I'm sure you've heard me say that as well. And then all we're going to do is add a little bit of water just to thin it out. And at this point, you just go to whatever consistency you like. Once the consistency is almost where I want it, then I'm going to add a little bit of acid. Today, I used a little bit of white vinegar. I really liked the white vinegar. And that is the whole recipe. Turmeric is really, really potent anti-inflammatory. This is beneficial to anybody. Everybody has some sort of inflammation within their body and this is an amazing way to combat it. I'm gonna have lunch. I'm almost done recording on my food for the day. Then it's gonna be time to play. Does anybody just have those tasks that they just really hate doing during the day? Well, for me, it's recording because I'm not the most creative person when it comes to food. I freaking love making food. Like, this sauce right here, this is so good. Like, I wanna go make it for somebody right now. But I have to try to find ways to be creative when I'm recording, and that, that's not for me. So I'm really glad that I'm almost done recording all my food recipes for today's video. This is my last meal that I'm serving for you guys today. So all I ended up doing was I toasted up some leftover falafel that I had in the freezer. I literally just take them out of the freezer, put them in the toaster, and they reheat in like two or three toast. And then I did have some leftover breakfast potatoes and I put those on top as well. And this was so yummy. Think Amy's gonna like this? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> What does? The cake. Let's let's do a reveal. You ready? <gasps> wow, this actually turned out amazing. This was my inspiration pick. That's mine. Pretty daggone close right there. I must say so myself, folks. It's a chocolate cake with a la a peanut butter cream layer in between, chocolate ganache with a cream cheese and peanut butter frosting all topped with more, or some crumbled Reese's. <laughs> Yum. Mm. I was able to keep the kids occupied outside by letting them lick as much as the frosting that was left over out of the bowl. And this gave me time to get an, about an hour, I like to call it a power hour cleaning session in. The house was a wreck because I honestly just kept cooking and kept getting stuff done and was not keeping up with anything. So I went ahead and got the kitchen swept, got all the counters and dishes cleaned, and then I had to deep clean the floors. I know this might seem really excessive to you guys, but I have to do this because we made the mistake of doing a transparent deck stain on our deck, which ultimately just means that we put wax all over the deck. So now every time we walk inside, it gets on the floor and it leaves such a terrible film. Plus I had made a bunch of cakes, so you know, it had a terrible film from all that. Anyway, I like to use a little bit of dish soap and water, not a lot because I don't want it to leave a film either. And then I let that sit for a little bit just to kind of help break up all the wax. And then I will go back over it with this wet vac. Um, I don't know. I think it's a, a Hoover, Hover, Hoover, whatever. And it pretty much just shoots water out and sucks water back up. So that will kind of rinse the floors. And this is what I got off the floors. There's something really satisfying about seeing all that nastiness going down the drain. So yeah, the floors were clean. I got a little laundry started, got the trash taken off, and I, whenever I get the house fully straightened up, I like to light, light a candle, and this just kinda sets the mood and makes the house all smell clean and gets everybody ready for chill time because we are getting ready to head into naps. 
Instead of continuously fighting them and trying to put them in and out, in and out, I just go ahead and lay on the floor and all I have to do is lay here for five minutes and they will pass out. They don't try to get out with me laying here so it works and it gives me a little quiet time so that's what we've been doing. Alright, I'm pretty much about to be the coolest mom ever. I just peeked on the kids and the big girls were pushing the babies on the swing and I was like, you know what, they're, they're being so good. So. I'm about to go set up the water hose on the slide outside. And I don't normally let them do that, but they literally, I got all these clothes folded and they did not interrupt me once and they're literally taking their time and watching the baby. So I'm about to reward them and we're probably gonna be late to the birthday party because I'm gonna let them play for a little while. Sorry, Gammy, but we're still coming. We're just gonna be a little bit late. <laughs> With the cake. Cheese. Now everybody make a silly face. All right, so we. Oh! Woo! Oh my! Okay. We put the laundry mat because it's foam, so hopefully it won't hurt their butts as much. All right, go, Lala. It wasn't even bad, was it? All right, let's put the hose back up. years. Writing what they want to hear And all the fictional stories <laughs> I've been filling the space With romantic cliches If we're honest it's all kind of boring Now that I got you I just tell the whole truth a day in the life and since today was Gammy's birthday you, you want to say one thing that you're thankful for about Gammy Emmy yeah. what I'm thankful about cake <laughs> you're thankful for Gammy's birthday cake yeah I like that when she buys us stuff it's very thankful 
<laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was a fun day today. What was your favorite part about the day, girl? Blowing out the candles. Blowing out the candles. What was your favorite part? Blowing out the candles. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next Wednesday, where hopefully we'll be sharing more delicious recipes and fun times with us. Right, girls? All right. Peace out. We're going to bed. Peace out. It's 10 o'clock. Peace out. Do, 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 do. You want to say bye? Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Bill. Say bye. Someone, they got the real, real love. Real, real love. Real, real love. I don't gotta make shit up. <laughs>